Today, I want to see if we can make a computer learn how to generate a song. I will do this using a genetic algorithm to create a bunch of melodies which will be put together to make the next big super hit. If you want to hear what that sounds like, stay to the end. If you have no idea what a genetic algorithm is, I did a video on what it is and how to build your own in Python. I link both in the description below if you're interested. And if you are generally interested in programming stuff, subscribe now to get some nice new videos on Mondays. All right, here is the idea. The genetic algorithm will generate a bunch of random melodies. And each time ask us if we like a melody or not. It will then keep the two best melodies and use the others to generate new ones by cutting and recombining them and also switching up some notes here and there. Melodies we like more are more likely to be used for the generation of new melodies. So that's how I hope the good stuff remains. We have a new bunch of melodies now and the whole process starts again. That's the theory. Let's get practical. The first thing when generating music is to generate one sound and I had no idea how to generate sounds with Python so I did what every programmer does, ask Google. I ended up using a Python library called Pyo and started messing around with it. The hello world of generating music is generating a sine wave. That was some major code here. Time for a coffee. The first question when using a genetic algorithm is always How can I encode the solution? I started by encoding a melody. I know that 8 bars are a good length for a building block in electronic dance music and that one bar is for beats. So is a bar. Per beat I wanted to have up to two notes and each note should be able to have 16 different pitches that we conveniently encode into four bits. So I ended up with four bits per note, eight notes per bar, eight bars and in total a genome of 256 bits. Now that I had a plan on how to encode a melody, I implemented a piece of code that actually plays a genome melody. And here's what it sounded like. It's not really a melody yet, but my hope was that after some generations, something would magically emerge from it. But before I could try that, I was still missing one crucial part of a genetic algorithm, a fitness function. So how can I decide if a given melody is a good melody or not? I had no idea. So I ended up with asking a human, me. So the song is actually a co-production between an algorithm and a human. The algorithm generates a melody and plays it back to me. And I have to rate it on a scale between one and five. I did this for three generations here with a population size of five, but it didn't seem to go anywhere. And I ended up with this masterpiece. So my hopes of getting anything useful were scattered. The melodies were lacking everything a good melody needs. Rhythm and actually being melodic. So I revisited my genome generation and I added different length of notes and pauses instead of the melodies. That was way better when it comes to the rhythm, but the melodic feel, not so much. So I figured that I had to add scales to my system and 
A scale basically is a bunch of notes that sound good together. And I also wanted to be able to generate different length of melodies and to have an export function for each population. So I added a bunch of parameters to my program and well, it was way better. I ended up with a pretty catchy melody and to test the MIDI export I imported the melody into Ableton. And this is what it sounded like. In Ableton I was able to use this melody with different instruments. Which brought it all to a whole nother level. That was pretty cool already. But for a whole song I wanted to have some chords. Chords are just multiple notes played together. At least that is what I thought and my, my naive idea was to just stack multiple melodies on top of each other. Yeah, that didn't work as expected. So I did some more research and I read up on how chords and scales actually relate to each other and I implemented that. So before I went on to just generate all the melodies I need for the song, I just wanted to generate two melodies and see if they can play together. So I generated a lead melody. And a bass line. And I put them together into Ableton. I was really satisfied with the results so far. So I went on to generate a lot of melodies. What you will see next is an excerpt of hours of listening to shitty melodies and rating them. It was exhausting to say the least. Let's have another try at some chords. Slow chords. Four bars, one. There we go. Um, another interesting part of music is arpeggiators. So some little... So let's generate an arpeggiator. Mm. Tasty. Nope. Nice. Nice. Maybe this is melodies and not just arpeggiator. But let's see. interesting but but nah let's let's keep it like this after that i went on and put it all into ableton and tried to arrange the melodies into a song i also sprinkled some lyrics in here and there but before i leave you to this masterpiece please consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below what else should I try to generate using a genetic algorithm? Thanks for watching and now it's time for Algorithmic Love. I see you next time. Algo. Algo. Rhythmic. Algorithmic Love. Algorithmic love
Love. 